will be using hydrogen peroxide. So uh, 100 volts, which is pretty much the highest strength to get commercially. Of, well, in a school anyway. If you went into boots, you'd only get 20 to 30 volts. Um, it decomposes, so you don't actually know how strong it is. It might be about 70 volt by now, but hopefully it'll do. Um, so we'll put this in a pint glass. I'm just using it up because I've got nothing else better to do. And I ordered way too much at work, so I'm going to wipe it off. Uh, second chemical, and see the way. There you go, sodium iodide, which is. Um, we had iodine in the last experiment, so you know what sort of reaction it gets. Purple is uh, the iodine. Uh, sodium will be, I think, yellow. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Right, you ready for this? A bit dark. I don't know what will happen. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And what does that smell like? Well, some of that's oxygen, so that's okay. You know, get on the natural high. Yes, but what's the rest? Um, I guess, because I, I have no idea what the equation is. But, um... You might want to work it out before you do it next time. <laughs> Maybe. Um... That smells like chlorine. No, uh, there shouldn't be any chlorine. There. No, but it smells like it. Too. You've only got elements sodium, iodine, hydrogen, and... Uh, oxygen, so you're going to get some water out of that. The, the, yeah. <laughs> sodium hydroxide, perhaps. I'll update you later. Anyway, um, and it'll probably be, yes, very, very hot. If you liked it. That's actually a bit warm. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it's that. It's really rich and it's uh, a bit more hot. Hotter. Yeah. Don't drink it.